Is this going to be a game changer? Well, it's interesting because NBC wants to change things, but not too much. Uh, for the second time in three years, NBC is pushing Jay Leno aside for someone hipper and younger. But here's the thing. We know that NBC is stuck in last place, but when it comes to the late night hours, NBC is still number one. And Jay Leno is the king. Uh, his ratings are ahead of CBS's Letterman and also Jimmy Kimmel of ABC, and especially in the key 18 to 49 demographic. But the mm -hmm. writing was really on the wall when ABC moved Jimmy Kimmel to 11.35 p.m. earlier this year. We've seen Kimmel gain ground on that 18 to 49 demographic, which, by the way, sets advertising rates uh, in general. Yeah. John Stewart, whose show airs at 11 uh, p.m. on Comedy Central, which is on cable, is also a threat, as is Stephen Colbert, who comes on right after him. So is, is The Tonight Show very profitable? Well, yeah, here's the thing. You've got increasing competition from cable, from online videos. It's still profitable, but less and less so. It makes as much as $40 million, according to The Hollywood Reporter, down from as much as $150 million. So with Jimmy Fallon, NBC is hoping that they get someone with crossover appeal and someone with a big digital footprint. Uh, uh, Fallon doesn't necessarily have Leno's uh, interviewing skills, but what he does do is those uh, sketches very well yes, online. The viral videos. Like Michelle Obama dancing with her.